Ah, guys, it's February 2nd, 2012, um, and I felt compelled to make this video um, because of the unusually warm weather I have seen here in North Carolina. Um, I've been putting this off for a while because, yes, in the past I have seen some warm days even maybe a warm week in, uh, in our winter season here in the southeast but this is something I have not seen in my 38 years um, this entire winter has been unusually warm um, I can probably count the number of frosts we've had probably two or three and the subject is uh, one that you only usually find in you know some of these uh, earth changes uh, websites and some conspiracy websites but I'm hearing more and more common folk you know bring this subject up and talk about it so I thought it would be worth looking into it a little bit more. Now even the mainstream media is starting to report on uh, some of these weather patterns and not just in the United States but around the world. Um, here's a few stories here um, just to prove my point. Um, unusually warm weather makes non-winter across the north. And they're talking about the uh, northern United States here and uh, this article was worth reading um, it's not too long um, here's another report unusually warm on the plains and it gives other locations the Corn Belt um, out west um, there's some good information there Here's a link, uh, a story from North Carolina, how it's been unusually warm this winter, and it's affecting uh, some of the crops, and it's uh, discussing what plants and trees and flowers are blooming way too early. And uh, I've witnessed this myself, um, and this just confirms what I've seen with my own eyes. Now, February is supposed to be the coldest month here where I live. Um, it's also the month that my electric bill is the highest. Um, I just got my electric bill and it is about $100 cheaper than, than this time last year. Let me give you an idea of what today looks like here. And it, it has been like this. February 2nd. It's 68 degrees outside and sunny. You need a t-shirt and shorts. Here is the 10 day forecast where I'm at. It's going to hit 70 today. 60. Almost 60. These are not... February temperatures for Charlotte, North Carolina. Even the lows. Uh, we should be seeing down to the teens. We should have had a few ice events and a few snows by now. Um, this has been going on for three months. And I heard something on Fox and CNN about the jet stream. So, on our research page, uh, planetxresearch.org, you can take a look at this for yourself right here under our research links. This will uh, give you a jet stream, uh, jet stream forecast. It'll give you the current and then like a uh, 144 hour projection. And let's see, where is that link? 
Here we go. The jet stream has basically stalled and has been stalled. Now I'm not a meteorologist, so the reason for this, I am not sure. Um, if you notice, here's your cold front. It dips way up into Canada, up into the northwest. It barely comes into the northeastern states. Meanwhile, we're getting all this warm Gulf air, and it's been like this all winter. Now, if you go back and look at jet streams from a few years past, um, you'll see that this is totally unusual. And it's pretty much been, it has been stuck in this position for a while. Um, reasons for this? Well, that's hard to say. Um, here's a page that goes into some of the possible reasons why. You know, some are saying it's increased volcanism. Uh, you've got your pole shift theory, which I don't agree with, and I will show why in just a second. Uh, and then you've got your very extreme theories of there being brown dwarfs and heavy mass objects uh, coming through the solar system. And of course I, I do not believe or buy into that whatsoever. But uh, I got to thinking, okay, if the pole has shifted, magnetically you would be able to tell with a compass. And if it has shifted physically, then Polaris, our North Pole, should have changed the position of it. Here's another site that I will provide a link to, and this is uh, a diagram that some other person made up. Um, it's their pole shift theory, and they claim that uh, instead of the 23.5 degree tilt that the Earth is supposed to have, that we are now tilted an extra 26 degrees, pointing our North Pole more towards the Sun. Well, if that were true, then the North Pole would no longer point directly to Polaris. And I'm not sure the name of the South Star Pole, but there is a uh, central star above the South Pole as well. And this article goes into debunking that and explaining the background behind the pole shift theory and why it is wrong um, and it bases um, it, it, it debunks it based upon just that um, here's the south pole that's showing the uh, the star that's centered over the south pole um, but no, Polaris, the North Star, has not changed um, its position in the sky. And in one of my other videos, um, it's the sun setting where it should be. I showed that uh, according to Stellarium, uh, true west and east is still the same as it should be. And the sun is rising and setting where it should be for this time of year. Um, so I, I just wanted to point out some of these things and I would like to know if anybody else is experiencing this uh, these same irregularities in the weather. Um, I will provide links to everything that I've shown you here in the description box. And uh, comments are welcome. And feel free to uh, join our research group. Um, if you don't have Pal Talk Messenger, it's free. Um, you can get it from our site. And uh, the chat room is under the category Education, Other, Planet X Research, Earth Changes, and Truth Seekers. Time's alive.